Hello all, welcome to Just an Observation. For those who know, this is a little tip of the hat to an old friend of mine. So, it was inspired by a good friend, and I hope I do him justice uh, using one of his catchphrases as the title for a video. So, <laughs> here's to you, my friend. So, this uh, project is going to be just basically where I give my two cents on topics so it's it's nothing you know factual it's nothing you know major it's just my opinions on what i see in the world hence just an observation so it's just my thoughts you can agree with me disagree with me i don't really care so with that said today's topic the u.s midterms why you ask well because i'm a glutton for punishment or i'm an idiot Anywho, either way, you can be the judge at the end of this. So, the 2022 U.S. midterms, as a Canadian, doesn't really affect me much. Uh, it, it does in the sense that, you know, we're always, you know, weary of, you know, who's in government down there and who's in government up here because if, eventually it all affects us in one way or another. But that's regardless. That's besides the point. My main thoughts today are just how odd it is to sit back, have no skin in the game, and just watch the U.S. midterms. So going into the U.S. midterms, there was a major push that there was going to be a red wave, the Republicans were going to dominate, and then the midterms happened. And from an outside observer... The Republicans did pretty damn good. The Democrats going into the midterm election had both the House and the Senate. Coming out of the midterms, they lost the House and kept the Senate. So in a sense, you could say it was a tie. Because they didn't get both. They got one and the other one got the other. So going forward, the United States will have a Republican Senate, a Republican House, pardon me, Republican House and a Democratic Senate till the 2024 elections, presumably. Now, we know that this was a close race because there's still ballots to be, there's still stuff to be done. And we're sitting at December the 3rd. Right, So neither party dominated the election. Neither party. However, I do find it rather interesting. Coming out of the 22 election, you have Republicans acting like the world is coming to an end. Republican Party members going on TV stating that their party did terrible and yada, yada, yada. It doesn't make any sense to me. You have Democrats on the other side laughing and making the joke about, oh, there was no red wave, there was no red wave, there was no red wave, ha, 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 ha. We won, ha, ha, ha. Well, it's interesting. Democrats claim that they won the midterm election. If you listen to some Democrats, they have won the last three elections held by the United States. The 2018 midterms, the 2020 election, and then the 2022 midterms. They are 3-0. and oh. If you listen to most Democrats, I have an issue with this. And this may just be an uninformed, dumb Canadian. But I'd like to draw your attention to something. So keeping in mind that the 2022 midterm elections saw the Democrats lose the House but barely hold on to the Senate by most projections now. That could change, apparently. But for now, Republicans have the House, Democrats will have the Senate. And this is a win, according to the Democrats. They started off the election with both the House and the Senate. But it's a win to just hold the Senate. Well, that is interesting. Because if we go back and look at 2018, 
the Republicans went into the 2018 election with both the House and the Senate. In the 2018 midterm election, the Democrats won the House but could not win the Senate. Now, most Democrats that you see online and talking will claim that this is an, a win for the Democrats. Well, herein lies my problem. If in 2018, the Democrats winning the House but not the Senate is a win for the Democrats, then would it not logically make sense that if the Republicans win the House but not the Senate in 2022, then it would be a Republican win? I mean, logic would dictate, right? Or am I wrong? Because to me, this makes sense. If you're claiming that in 2018, the Democrats won the midterms because they got the House, but did not get the Senate, then logically, the Republicans getting the House, not the Senate, in 2022 would be a loss for the Democrats. Um, and, and more so, I would also like to point out that if I'm a Democrat right now in the United States, I wouldn't say I'm in panic mode, but I sure the hell am not comfortable. I sure as hell am not gloating. I sure as hell am not rubbing it into the Republicans' face right now. Likewise, if I'm a Republican in the United States, I would be weary. I was too close. For either party, this was too close. Too close. Either party has no right to crow because they both won by the seat of their pants. The Democrats barely held on to the Senate. The Republicans got the House, which, congrats. But neither party is in a strong stance coming out of the 2022 election. Neither party. Now, if you listen to the media, the Democrats slaughtered the Republicans in the election which to me is complete and other bullshit. If you just look at the numbers, just looking at the numbers, that doesn't make sense. And again, I state, Democrats won the House, not the Senate in 2018, and that was considered a win for the Democrats. How is it then a loss for the Republicans when they do the same thing four years later? This doesn't make sense. As a Canadian, all I ask is be consistent, folks. If a win in the House and not the Senate is a win in one election, then it should be the same on the other side. Just be consistent, for the love of God. Just be consistent. Also, a word of warning to Democrats. And again, I'm Canadian. I have no skin in the game. But. History repeats itself. So going into 2024, I would not be cocky. I would not be considering we got this in the bag, folks. Because if history repeats itself, Republicans will win in 2024. And if you ask me, what do you mean by if history repeats itself? In 2018, like I've said in this conversation before, Democrats got the House, did not get the Senate. In the next presidential election, the Democrats got the presidency, the House, and the Senate. So if history repeats itself, the Republicans are on track to take the Senate, the presidency, and the House next election. If history repeats itself. Now, there's a lot of factors that can come into play on this. Who's running, how much support they have, yada, yada, yada. But as a Democrat, I would not be so cocky right now because your party did not do very well. If I'm a Republican, I again would not be too cocky because your party did not do very well. Now, I will state this. As a Republican, you have a feather in your hat. 
You took the house. Which is why I don't understand all the gloom and doom. And maybe I'm just an idiot and I don't understand American politics and whatever. You can just say I'm a dumb Canadian. But here's my point. Why are the Republicans acting like the whole world is falling in? They took the house. They took the house. So that's a feather in their cap. That's a building stone towards the next election. They won the house. They didn't get their asses kicked. They won the house. So why are Republicans acting like it's the end of the damn world? That they did so terribly. I don't get it. It makes no sense. Because in all honesty, they performed just as well as the Democrats did in 2018, and that was considered a win for the Democrats. But again, just an observation, just a thought. And you can agree with me or disagree with me. It's up to you. It's called free speech, folks. Till next time, take her easy. Mm-hmm.